Jutta and Gisela. Identical twins who set out to meet their idols and in the process became famous themselves. They wanted to get to know the people who embodied the ideals of the era, of freedom and self-expression, people like Dennis Hopper. They discussed philosophy with Mick Jagger and partied with Robert De Niro. They were people who were inventing a new attitude to life. They gave voice to a whole generation. We weren't interested in famous people. They were all brothers and sisters of a common spirit. We saw each other and we enjoyed seeing each other. We felt ours was a beautiful generation. Als Generation schön gefunden. Once upon a time, you dressed so fine. Do the bump of jime in your prime. Then you the twins knew early on that they were a little bit different. Born in the provincial city of Kassel in the state of Hessen, they developed an interest in the wider world at a young age. When we were four, we tried to emigrate to America in a baby carriage without wheels. We thought the baby carriage was a ship. <laughs> and we really gave our mother a scare because suddenly we were gone. Jutta and Gisela are now 61 and live in Munich, though they are often drawn back to Berlin. Because that's where their adventures started. They first came to Berlin in the 1970s became active in politics, lived in a commune, and became icons of the times. We wanted a different world. We just felt, we're next. Now it's our turn. None of it was a conscious decision. You just felt it. This enthusiastic beginning, the complete unknown. Really, to go into the complete unknown and discover oneself and be playful with life. Germany quickly became too dull for them. The twins moved to Italy, the land of sunshine and filmmaking, where they soon were being courted by film legends like Federico Fellini and Bernardo Bertolucci. That was unusual. Two girls on the road looking for adventure. People were interested in us. Because we had each other, we were self-sufficient. We were like a little gang. We didn't have to conform because we had each other. Their lives came to a crossroads in Rome when they met Gisela's future husband, billionaire heir Paul Getty. He was kidnapped in 1973 and only released after a long ordeal and the payment of a ransom. That was the moment that really changed everything. After that, Rome was finished. In a way, it was also the end of a whole way of life. The twins' next stop was San Francisco. They became friends with Sean Penn worked with Dennis Hopper. They're still in touch with Leonard Cohen, and they met, of course, Bob Dylan, their biggest idol. People saw each other, got together. And Leonard Cohen and Dylan, they sang beautiful songs, or strange songs. They found a voice that was their own. That was a snapshot of a time when there were no hierarchies and when everything was possible. It's a way of life that Gisela Getty and Jutta Winkelmann still want to represent today. <laughs> 